Welcome to Tech Brothers Adama. In this video, we are going to learn uh, about a variable uh, that is error type variable in Azure Data Factory. So we are going to go through some uh, real time example, and that's going to explain all the details and going to help you to understand that these type of uh, variable and uh, then how to use them in Azure Data Factory. So let's go and take a look. Uh, here we have uh, our Azure portal. I'm going to go to the Azure Data Factory. So let me search your uh, Tech Brothers IT. Okay, let's see. It's ADF. So that's uh, our Azure Data Factory, and uh, here we are going to create a pipeline. And then uh, before we create the pipeline, we are going to talk about some array type of variable. So let's go to the pipeline here, and uh, we have our variables uh, right here. Click on the variables and uh, click on new. Now, when you uh, go to the type, uh, here we have string type of variable, where we have a boolean type of variable, and then we have array type variable. So I have uh, videos on these uh, string and boolean, and uh, today we are going to talk about array type uh, variable. So variables are uh, temporary placeholders. Uh, you can set their values, uh, you can append the values to them, and all those kind of things. Uh, so And you can use them uh, during the pipeline execution. So think about that. Uh, I need uh, to extract some data for uh, maybe some specific requirement, uh, and I would like to save uh, those values here. So in this case, uh, I'm going to, going to say our region. Okay, so this is a variable region. Uh, and I would like uh, maybe uh, this is going to be array, right? So Asia is one region, and the second uh, uh, value in this array is uh, Europe. So these are uh, arrays uh, are pretty much available in every language. So it can contain multiple items. So if you see right there, uh, let's click right there. Okay, so this is the value you're seeing right there. Okay, so let me paste in the notepad uh, and uh, we can talk about that. Also, see right there, so you have uh, Asia and uh, then you have Europe. Same way you can uh, also save different values such as number and all those kind of things. So if you wanna save numbers, you can save these numbers like this uh, in this array, okay? So right now what I'm doing, I'm only saving two values in this array. And uh, that's our variable in Azure Data Factory. Why I'm doing it? Because I want to use these values to extract data from one table. And depending on these values, I want to use them in the in the where clause. So I have this table here. It's called total sale. And uh, what I would like to do, I would like to create two files, uh, one for each region. So you see that I have uh, Asia region and then I have Europe region. And I am going to create uh, something like this uh, where region is equal to Asia or Europe, right? So I need uh, these uh, two values there, okay? So tomorrow my table might have uh, hundreds of other regions, uh, but I am always uh, going to create uh, uh, the uh, files uh, for Asian region, Asia and Europe, so I can do that. Okay, so let's go back here, and uh, what we are going to do, we are going to create uh, 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 for each loop. So first of all, let's see, this is error type, uh, error type, right? So we have to loop through for each of the value. So I'm going to bring a for each loop here. And uh, then uh, inside the for each loop, uh, we are going to go into the settings. And here uh, we are going to the items. So, okay, so right click there. And uh, where to get these items? So we know that we have saved those items in the array called V region that is holding our Asia and Europe values. So now this for each loop uh, items is equal to the uh, V region values. So that's our variable right there. Okay. So if we want to create another value, we can create that tool. But let's start with this one and then we go. Now we have two values sitting in the items and uh, we are going to click on the pencil sign. And here we are going to use the copy activity. And uh, bring the copy activity. And uh, now we are going to go to the source and we are going to make some uh, data set here. So Azure SQL and uh, select uh, continue and here uh, we are going to go to the new linked service uh, and here i'm going to select my subscription and my server name and my database name tech Brothers, uh, db that's where my table is uh. now i will provide the username and then uh, i will provide the password now hit a uh, test connection and it should be successful and now this is we can call it a lnk sql array example okay so create And uh, we don't need the table here because I'm going to write a query and use the value of that uh, uh, coming from the array. So we are going to hit OK here. And then uh, what we are going to do, we are going to go to the query. Here in the query, we are going to go to the add contents, uh, dynamic contents. Uh, and I'm going to create uh, that uh, query. So how I'm going to do it, uh, I'm going to bring a function called concat. Okay, so concat. 
this uh, function, uh, inside this function, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm uh, going to write my query. So here, so you put single quotes first, uh, select uh, asterisk from dbo dot uh, total sale. That's our table. So let me go right there. Yes, total sale. And now we are going to go back here and say where region is equal to and then we have to provide the values, right? So how I'm going to do it, first of all, I need a single quote around it. So I'm going to put three quotes here, one for this closing, and then two single quotes for it's going to replace one. Now here I have to put comma and then I bring the value for that uh, uh, item, right? So it is coming from the for each loop, right? So that's where we have saved the edit type values to the items. So click here on the for each. Now in after the item, the value will be there so put comma here and then uh, we are going to put four single quotes okay so this is going to replace with the single quote so see right there so i have four single quotes this is going to add one quote to it and this one there too so i'm going to take this guy and show you how exactly it's going to perform on the sql side so let's uh, new query and here so this is going to become something like this so, so right there and then this will become asia and then on second uh, loop, uh, it will uh, iteration, uh, it will become Europe uh, because the, those are the two values we have. So this is uh, this is how the query will be built from that expression. Okay, so we are all good here and uh, let's uh, minimize this part. And now what we need to do, we need to write this uh, uh, data to the file. So we are gonna go to the sync and in the sync, we are creating a new data set. I'm gonna go to blob storage and the CSV file and then uh, I'm going to select uh, the link service. So, so I don't have it, I'm gonna create one for you. And uh, here we are gonna go to subscription, then uh, what we are gonna do, we are gonna go to the storage account. In this storage account, I have two containers there. So if I go to the storage account here, I have uh, actually two containers, now logs and output, I'm gonna use output. So. Okay, so let's go back here and uh, we call it uh, Azure link and uh, LNK and then I say array, okay? So my, uh, just to create this one. Now here you're gonna select the out file output uh, container and uh, now it's asking me, hey, what is the file name? So we are not gonna be having file name here. We are gonna hit, say yes, first row will be header and then I just hit okay. Now we, what we will do, we'll come in the sync and then do more configuration go open and click here and uh, now I want to actually create the file with the same name that array is returning like Europe or Asia, right? So I'm going to go ahead and create a parameter. This is going to be our data set parameter. So P data set and the region. Okay. So this value we will use in connection and you go here in the file and use this P data set region parameter here. Now we have to provide the value for this parameter. Go back to pipeline and this parameter is shown up here click on the value and now we can match to the items. So I'm gonna click on my items. So first time it's gonna bring the Asia, second time it's gonna bring the Europe, right? So that's how the file will be created. We don't have to do a whole lot here. We are all good here and uh, we should be good to go. Hit debug and it should read the data from the table and create two files. So as a variable has two values here, Asia and Europe, that's the array. And now what's going to happen for each loop is going to read that value. Now in the for each, it will tell like, oh, I read two counts. And because we are telling the for each loop right there in the settings, read the value from the array. Now it read those and then see two counts. Yes. And next it when it read copy activity, it build that select star from DBO sale where our region is equal to Europe. So it read that one and then uh, wrote to the uh, file, then went for the second one and where it is a uh, region is equal to Asia, okay? And uh, it wrote to the file. Let's go refresh our folder. We have Asia file and then we have, uh, see, this is data coming for Asia. Okay, and then if we go back here, there is a data for Europe right there. So click right there, edit, you can see the data for Europe. Now, if I go back here and uh, I'm gonna say like, oh, now I wanna add more variable values to it. I can simply do it. So in this case, uh, if uh, I would like to do, uh, let me take this uh, uh, North America. So if I wanna create uh, the file for that region as well, so I can add that. Uh, right now, I'm hard coding these values uh, from this region. 
uh, but uh, to just uh, perform this, uh, um, if you are building the different uh, regions and all that, uh, and you need to get from the uh, some file or table, you can always use the lookup. But uh, I'm uh, demonstrating the use of these array values here. So that's why I'm hard coding here. Okay, so this could be also one scenario where let's say you are reading the file that's coming from a, 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 there's an Excel file and you always need to read the two or three different type of uh, uh, sheets uh, from each of the file so you can hard code those values in this array and always uh, that sheet uh, name will be used there so I have a demo on that one as well if you want to see okay let's say hit debug again and now it's going to create uh, three different uh, files for us because our variable is array variable holding three items uh, Asia Europe and North America so now at this time you're saying hey you have three item count and the next one says it's going to run for each of them and you can see that it ran for uh, Europe and it ran for uh, Asia and finally it uh, got executed for uh, North America so the, we can go back here and take a look on the files and now we have uh, even a North America file there see right there so we have it okay this sounds very interesting and uh, I hope you learn how to create the array type variable and then use it uh, in the for each loop uh, and uh, make sense uh, in different scenarios of how to use this array type of variable. So thank you very much uh, for watching this video. Please go ahead and subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.